Well, the Abbeville Opera House was built in uh, 1908. It seems that at that time, every major road company out of New York uh, was traveling through this area. One of the most popular tours was from New York to Richmond, Virginia, and then from Richmond on to Atlanta. And from the 1880s on, uh, all of these road companies were coming through town, either by railroad or uh, by wagon. So the community got together and said, you know, if we had a facility here in Abbeville, we could sponsor all of these big Broadway, burlesque, vaudeville productions that were coming through town. So in 1900, they wrote to some producers in New York uh, who sent them the ground plans for what is now the Abbeville Opera House. It opened in October of 1908, and from that time on into the 20s and 30s, every major road company out of New York performed here at the Abbeville Opera House. I think one of the things that makes the Opera House uh, so unique is, is the facility itself. Uh, so many of the Opera Houses that were scattered through the South were, were built uh, on one level or on two levels, but the Opera House itself was based on ground plans from theaters in New York where the vaudeville, burlesque, and minstrel shows were being put together. Uh, consequently, we have a magnificent stage. It's 7,500 square feet, 75 feet to our grid. Our uh, dressing rooms, we have four floors of dressing rooms with four dressing rooms on each floor, so it's very reminiscent of the old New York houses back then. The Opera House was converted in the 1940s into a movie house, and it remained a movie theater until 1958. Uh, it was almost torn down that year, so many of these wonderful old theaters were. But the community got together in 1958, and they, they organized a community theater group. And then in 68, when they, uh, they were truly considering tearing down the theater, the community theater organization and the community got together and said, no, we'd like to restore the Abbeville Opera House to its original turn of the century condition and we'll let the, the community theater move in. So it remained a community theater doing a five play winter season from 1968 until 1978. And then with the increase in tourism in South Carolina and really all over the Southeast, uh, the community once again got together and said, you know, we'd like to see what the response would be to a summer season of shows. We'd like to do some summer stock here in Abbeville. But they knew that they couldn't do that on a volunteer basis the way they were doing their community theater group. And so that's where I became involved. Uh, they got in touch with me. We were doing uh, a theater production somewhere in the southeast. I had a touring theater company at the time. and We came in and we saw the Abbeville Opera House and we just fell in love with this incredible old space and, and uh, came in that one summer. We did a three-play summer season of shows. Uh, it was, the response was enough to warrant coming back the next year. We did a ten-play summer stock season the next year. Our third summer season we decided we would spend in residence here at the Abbeville Opera House. We we're the first professional theater company here since 1917 in residence. And our summer theater season has grown and developed into what was just last year. We celebrated our 25th summer theater season here. The Opera House is once again being used for what it was originally intended, and that is to house live theater.